previously on the final pitch. The second day of the initial pitch, featuring small and medium enterprises, begins. That, you know, as a conflict of interest, you know, because, I mean, is that really the best production um, outfit, right? Magaling talaga Pilipino, no? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Magaling. <laughs> This week, the investors hear the rest of the second day pitches before coming face to face with bigger dreams and bigger asks. I am here asking for 1 million US dollars for 10% equity. My name is John Aguilar, and I'm an entrepreneur television producer based in Manila. I've gathered four illustrious investors looking to fund and support the next great Filipino company, William T. Lim founder of Mega Global Corporation, makers of the number one sardines in the country, Mega Sardines. Congressman Mikey Romero, billionaire sportsman, port operator and co-founding owner of Philippines Air Asia. Michael Dargani, president and CEO of Ice Cream Inc., Philippine licensee of the well-loved global ice cream brand Baskin Robbins. And Mark Vernon, British angel investor and founder of the blockchain-based digital currency payment platform, TagCash. Our goal is to find the best up-and-coming entrepreneurs and help take their businesses to the next level. In the end, they face the investors in the pitch of their lives. Many will try, but only a few will make it to the final pitch. Continuing the second day is an entrepreneur providing software as a service for SMEs. Okay, so your company is a uh, Servio small business, right. right? The market for you is so huge. Yeah, actually there's around 90% of the market is from the small business. Right, right. Medium to large enterprise is only around 8%. And no one's stopping that market? So far, as far as we know. And you've done your research, right? We've done our research, yeah. Ryan, good luck. Thank you. Good afternoon, investors. I am Brian Paul Javier, co-founder of Servio Small Business and I am here seeking 20 million for 40% equity of our company. Meet Maria. She's a millennial entrepreneur and owns a small retail business. Although she is decided to continuously grow her business, she is encountering some difficulties, some challenges with her existing business process. If Maria had an IT consultant or a business consultant, that consultant would recommend business software that would be able to help her address her needs and, and challenges. But as a small business, she may not have that resource. Our solution is an all-in-one business technology service specifically for small businesses. And small businesses can acquire this service at a subscription fee of 5,000 pesos per month. So I'd like you to join our team. Help us achieve our goals. Help us help Maria. Thank you. Do you customize or is this? We will do an implementation. Um, so we will get the requirements Mostly small businesses have um, standard requirements, so we will implement it for them. And that's what uh, makes us different from other solution providers, because what other solution provider does is they just simply sell the application and then let um, the business owners try to implement it on their own. 5,000 per month? It's just the base subscription fee. It can go up depending on the add-ons. But then if you keep adding on, how will the small businesses afford it? Doesn't that sort of defeat the purpose? From the base application itself, they can already be able to maximize the service that we're getting. I wanted to ask, no one is doing this to as catering as, small businesses? Um, from our research, we have not seen anyone doing this yet. And are you already in business or just starting now? We're just starting now. Just, so no clients yet? We no. have early adopters. Um, we, we have early adopters. Who are paying the 5000 a month? Um, they start paying in January. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. It was a good experience. I didn't expect that there was, there's going to be a lot of questions, um, especially the feasibility of the company. But I think it's a good sign that um, it's something that they would be interested in. So the idea is very good. No? He, he likes to help the small SME. Yeah, he has but the to problem is 5,000. What can you do with 5,000? You know, a lot of these small businesses as well just use pirated software. Yeah. Right? So, <laughs> oh, they, they, they search on Google and say, what's the yeah. best solution uh, for it? I mean, it's true, but that it's does take a while. Here. It does take a while to research what you're going to do. So there might be a market for a, a cheaper service to say, just help me in my business. Like a mentor, but a paid men mentor. Yeah. I like do it for free. I, I do it. But I can't, <laughs> I'm scaling it. I can't do a thousand companies. But maybe they can. Because they'll probably see the same questions all the time. They can yeah. AI it. Yeah. They got AI, so you can ask the chatbot, what, what's my options if I'm doing this, this, and this? So, Because there's a lot of people that need mentoring here. 
The next group of entrepreneurs presents a solution to the food wastage dilemma faced by many food businesses. So you guys are food track. track. Yes, 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 yes. Food track. Right? And, and you all met in school. You formed this company. And what, what, what are your positions? Chief Science Officer. Okay. Yeah, so CFO. Appointed C CEO. C C CEO. CEO yeah. And I'm the Chief Technical Officer. Okay, so you're all C-level executives here. You know? yeah. How we Lots wish, how we wish. Yeah. How we room. wish, dream I. Right, and how many employees do you have? Unfortunately, four. 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 four employees. We have four chief executives here, yeah. so good luck. Thank, thank, you. thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Um, hi, good afternoon. I'm Carlo Mores. I'm Kyle Gonzalez. And I'm Jude Michael Tevez. And I'm Taiki Sungao. And we, we are, are Food Trap. We are here asking for 8 million for seed funding in exchange of 40% of our equity. So, but before that, uh, we want to offer you guys something. Mabuti, binigay mo sa main. Kanina pa namin tinitingnan yan. Don't throw it. Don't throw my donuts. Don't. <laughs> Don't. Sorry, guys. No. No, no, no. No. So, did you know that every day, restaurants and other food establishments do things like this? Completely good food, and yet they're throwing it out. According to a study from UN, 30% of the food produced globally is just thrown away. According to the Boston Consulting Group, it's a $700 billion global uh, business opportunity. We have around 4,000 uh, restaurants here in the Philippines and that e equates to 52 billion pesos for the whole industry. But if we consider that there's actually 33.3% of this industry goes to food wastage, that's equal to 17.3 billion pesos of food wastage per year. Food Truck is an online platform that will allow restaurants to sell their overproduced food at a discounted rate. For quality assurance, we will be putting rating system so that we can avoid food poisoning uh, also, we have to put expiration tags so that uh, customers are aware on the limitation of, their, of the expiration of the food. I'm the CEO. I'll be handling marketing, uh, human resources, and operations. Um, I'll, I'll be the CFO, basically, to keep track of the cost and making sure that they're in line with the strategy. I am in charge of the science behind it, so I'll do the algorithms and mathematical models. And I will be the chief technical officer, so I will be in charge of all the technical aspects of our company. So with that, uh, we're asking the investors to help us eliminate food waste. Thank you. I believe ako doon sa mga positions ninyo, CEO, CFO, that sounds very hi-fi. <laughs> I think it would work well with groceries. Yeah, I think I that's thinking, a really big yeah. um, market and a big loss. And the bake shops. Yeah, and bake yeah. shops. Yeah. You know, prior to it actually going bad, prior to it expiring, They'll know. And they already do that. They bundle it with something and place a discount. And for certain cafes and malls, uh, an out. hour or 30 yeah. minutes before closing time, yeah. they would put it out on a discount. Yeah, so we believe our app will actually complement those kinds of practices to help them reach a wider audience, you know, so they'll also be able to create bigger impact. Well, or will it just cannibalize the people who would have bought at the full price? They'll just wait and then they buy it. Right. I was just gonna say that. Yeah. I mean, there there'd be a line for uh, maybe after five o'clock. <laughs> there'd be a line yeah. already waiting for the fifty percent off. <laughs> what you're doing is really good. Try to slim it down to a certain niche. And if you're gonna do it, try it with a sample yeah, big or supermarket. Yeah, just the bakeries just, first. You know, just try it. Yeah. yeah, but you're banking on overproducing. But if you overproduce once, you learned your lesson. Said so you don't overproduce. So that would limit your market again. Okay. Thank you. Good luck and thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for the donuts. <laughs> and I think it's a very great opportunity to hear their insights. We will be surely implementing these in our next iterations of our platform. I prefer the idea of giving away to the needy. I'm not going to argue with you guys. I'm just going to eat my donuts. <laughs> <laughs> but they're, they're a good team. They're a good team. They could work together and come work on different ideas on, on this area. Yeah, there's something there. Yeah, but not quite where it needs to be. There's something there and don't, I don't want them to give up on it. Up next. Can you do like maybe an app as well so you can do dating times and do like a tin... <laughs> like a, and do your laundry at the same time. <laughs> like a... Let our imagination run wild. He's just pitching you as he does every entrepreneur that comes on here. <laughs> the next entrepreneur seeks to use the best elements of a laundromat and a cafe 
to brew a unique customer experience. You're a real estate professional, but you're here to pitch a business, right? So, yes. so what's your story? Um, generally, I'm a marketing professional for a real estate brand. Okay. And generally, it's experiential. So aside from giving service and product, I'm generally offering experience to the clients of middle class uh, market. Okay, that's a very general mm -hmm. uh, market. Mm -hmm. I hope that the investors generally like yeah. what you have to offer. Thank you. Good luck. Hi everyone, I'm Crisal Villanueva and I'm seeking for 250,000 pesos for 30% of my company. Hang Cafe is a hybrid cafe slash laundromat. So generally, the cafe offers a drip coffee instead of your usual barista-offered coffees in the market. Then we also have the laundromat. I'm looking at a 60 square meter store. And then the business model would be pay as you go. So pre-launch expense is 700,000, but the projected income would be 462,000 on a monthly basis. So for 60 square meter space, how would you fit in the whole cafe concept and the, the laundromat? Actually, the 60 square meter is definitely flexible. I just want to maintain the below 1 million investment for the first store. Can you do like maybe an app as well so you can do dating times and do like a Tinder? <laughs> like and do your laundry at the same time. <laughs> like a Tinder for laundry, you know, something like that. in his company in every... <laughs> Let our imagination run wild. This is not, this is not a, this is a suggestion, this is a serious he's suggestion. Just, he's you know? just pitching you as he does every entrepreneur. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm inviting everyone to try the hand poured coffee. So the um... let me let me bring it over here. Oh, now. Okay. Wow, Mark. This is what Thank you. You're such a gentleman. Wow. <laughs> of your dating cafe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In the middle, and then. Yeah, Swirl Mark. It. Mark, listen to instructions. You <laughs> <laughs> said pour. Swirl, it's a yes, circular swirl. Okay. swirl. 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 So self-service coffee and self-service laundry. <laughs> so I'm doing my laundry, yeah. pouring my coffee. And local coffee. <laughs> Thank you. you Seeing a cute guy on the side. <laughs> look at the look at the face. Is it good? Yeah, good. Okay. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you, everyone. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. The general run was um, generally good. I'm really praying that at least one of them gets to appreciate the concept of laundry slash cafe. I think you need more than just, uh, I don't, it doesn't have to be dating, it could be anything, but more of a reason to get people to go down and use yeah. it as an Instagrammable yeah. moment. Yeah. Yeah. I'm amazed at the costings. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, I mean, if, if that is, is traditional, accurate, if like that is If you real, do stuff in the provinces, it's not that expensive. <laughs> No. Yeah, but these are, um, these are the developments. Yeah, these are here. I mean, I didn't see any advanced deposits, security deposits, yeah. which is already easily That'll be easily more than 700, yeah. or maybe, well, I think 60,000. 60,000 for 60, six. What can you get for 1,000 per square yeah. meter these days? I don't think you can get commercial. Yeah. Anyway, the, the, way, the way we think about it is really expecting the worst and hoping for the best. Yeah. Oh, and the total project, it, it, maybe the contract for the rentals would be less than two. Two years? It yeah. cannot be two, just one three, year. I yeah. don't think. I think that's two, three yeah. years. Yeah. So the, the upfront cost would be high already. Last to pitch for day two is a millennial entrepreneur looking to grow her multi-brand retail business. Nice to finally meet you. You personally reached out to me on Facebook, and then we invited you for an, a, a pitch. You couldn't make it because you were in Boracay. Yes. We heard your pitch <laughs> on Skype. And we you were can so see the ocean we behind were, me. <laughs> we were so jealous you were in Boracay. So yeah. every entrepreneur finds a way and you found your way to us. You know? I'm really glad to be here. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. You're up next. Hi, my name is Jasmine Deluna and I'm the founder of Society 8 Concept Stores. I'm seeking for 10 million pesos for 25% of equity of my company. Society 8 Concept Stores is a multi-brand lifestyle concept store a retail playground established in 2017 provide lucrative business to brand partners, retailers, online businesses that offer unique quality items while giving customers a unique shopping experience. We have five branches as of the moment. Filipino have local brands and 
they are very discouraged to do business as they don't have enough funds to build their own store. We are offering um, affordable spaces for micro entrepreneurs, ranging from 3,000 to 8,500 per month as a home for their growing local brands. So this way, we can give lucrative business to their families. Our business is we lease a piece of brick and mortar space for from our affordable module plans, manpower, all included, all in. As no more worries sa kanila. Um, why I build Society A to provide jobs to many Filipinos as much as I can because I believe that Filipinos have first world talent stuck in a third world country. I also want uh, Filipinos to be known as great businessmen rather than great employees. Thank you. I, I'm say just to get me just to get the concept right, you're renting space and then you're subletting to people who want to sell their products in yes. the stores. So it's like a like a biz bazaar. Yes. Yeah. yeah, but she handles the manpower. They just lease the space and they get very creative with what they're going to offer. There are some brand partners who'd like to give you some of their items. So can I invite you here? So <laughs> actually you can choose anything you want. You don't sell only clothes. Hi. Anything anybody can use in, in his or her lifestyle. So That's it's a cheap way of getting, an inexpensive way of getting into the business, yeah. I suppose. But, but you mentioned also that you'll be in e-commerce. In e yeah, yes. I was about to so ask that. The problem now that... is that everybody's uh, go, ordering online and uh, the U.S. retail stores are shutting down. But you're going into retail. So make sure both. Yeah, how will you, you merge that yeah. considering you're doing well, you have because, a showcase. We are, because we yeah. are in the Philippines with the Filipino shopping habit. They would like to go to the malls and, and just experience the shopping. <laughs> the main heart of what I'm doing is I would like to grow brands together. The idea yeah. of cooperation, the heart yeah. of mm -hmm. growing together, it's, it's fun. Why is it called Society 8? It's a society of Filipino micro-entrepreneurs who want to help each other, who want to grow together. And eight... Eight because I just eight felt branches. like it. <laughs> eight is eight eight number eight yeah. Yeah. next year. <laughs> that's, that's basically it. When you add one more branch, society nine. Nine. Ten. <laughs> <laughs> it's just society eight. I made the name while in the shower. The best ideas are random anyway. Yeah, so and they often pop thoughts. up in a, in a three-hour bath. And shower <laughs> shower. <laughs> With that. Okay, on that note. Thank you. <laughs> on that note. Thank you. Thank you. Overall, I really enjoyed it. I, and I would really love to know them more and move forward. I think she's really enterprising. I mean, you know, to have come up with all this and, and she's successful. Her so it sounds like quite a few of us are interested in the same thing. So, yeah. You want to go split? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. And it's a proven concept. Well, she wants an yeah. expansion. Yeah. Up next, bigger businesses and bigger asks take to the stage. Hi, judges and rock stars. I'm seeking $300,000 for an equity of 15%. I'm here asking for 1 million US dollars for 10% equity. If we wait for a few more days, so this might be your final case. Hello, investors. Hello. 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 Welcome to day three of the initial pitches. Now, the concept or the theme for day three is all about scale. So these are the businesses that are ready to move to the next level. They have the traction, they have the following, what they need, finances, and support. So I hope that if you pick them, you can give them that. So we've lined up six very promising businesses today for you, and we'll begin with the first one that I will call in now. First up is a Singapore-based entrepreneur with a solution for fresh graduates hoping to land their first jobs. Yeah, so what's your story? I've been based in Singapore for close to 12 years now. HR background. Okay. Um, I came from a big brand. It's actually, we did a startup uh, five years ago. Okay. I'm one of the pioneers of the team. Right now, you're in the hotbed of fintech in Asia. You're in Singapore. Yeah. But the decision to relocate back here in the Philippines, what's the impetus behind that? The main objective why we decided to come back to the Philippines is to give back. Because I'm exposed in Singapore. Right. So we want to share this knowledge and also some of the technology that we have in Singapore and then share it here in the Philippines because ultimately I think Philippines is a great country. There's a lot of opportunities out there. It's really great that you have uh, this service that you're introducing to the Philippine market. Good luck. I know that you will do well. It's your turn. Hi judges and rock stars. My name is Angelo Valdez. 
um, CEO of Diplomacy.com. I'm seeking $300,000 for an equity of 15%. What is Diplomacy? It's a job skill matching platform. We specialize in interns and fresh graduates. Uh, Diplomacy is under Harper Inhill Group. I'm actually the CEO of Harper Inhill Group. It's a headhunting company. Diplomacy is a technology of uh, Harper and Hill. These are the schools and universities we actually partner with. I'm based in Singapore. I've been based in Singapore for 12 years now and counting. By next year, hopefully, I can move back here in the Philippines and hopefully we can transfer the technology and the knowledge that I know uh, from Singapore to Philippines. And how do you intend to pull these talents or recruits or resumes together. What we did for the past uh, uh, 12 months, we managed to partner with a lot of universities. So we, we run like a TED Talk uh, program. But those people, they don't have experience. Yes. Much of them. I agree, they don't have experience. But then again, if you are a company, you want to educate fresh people because they are like sponge. And there's a lot of good talents out there. But if I want to search for an executive for my company? Then you can use Harper and Hill. Because we are a headhunting company. company. That's, that's sure enough. Yeah, we are a headhunting company. We specialize in senior level management. But that's a separate, that's not part of this deal. This is just for, just for diplomacy. Yes. But Harper Hill sounds like book publishing. Book publishing, yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. Better you use Romero and Lim. <laughs> <laughs> that would be ideal. Vale, 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 vale. <laughs> so I'd like to take on more interns and um, grads, yeah. but I Me too. Well, I'd be glad to. Yeah. Me too. So yeah. I'd probably be one of your customers. I think it's a really interesting and, you know, it benefits both sides, I think, the employers and um, the students or first time uh, employees, you know, who are hoping to get a job. So, great platform, great job. Well done, good. Keep it up. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you very much. End of the day, I managed to deliver the, the information. Um, all, the in, all their questions, I managed to answer it. Um, hopefully, they, they, they like it. Another okay. thing, I thought good he idea. had a really great attitude. Yeah. You know, he just no, seems like, you confident. know, he's somebody who's no, you know, passionate. He's, 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 he's passionate, passionate and yeah. he's, you know, he spent time away from from the Philippines, you know, mm -hmm. he's doing something to potentially, uh -huh. you know, be able yeah. to come back and help uplift one, society one the, over here. So yeah, great. He seems like a great so, guy. Yeah. He just seems like a genuine and nice yeah. person. Up next is a mobile tech wallet that seeks to interconnect the banking and remittance sectors of the Philippines. You've always been in business, yeah. right, since you were a kid. Yeah. When did you start? I can still remember I started to sell ice candy in Divisoria when I was eight years old. Eight years old. Yeah, so ever since then, I, I always know that this is my calling. We have very high hopes for you, so good luck. Hi, investors. My name is Jerwin. I'm the co-founder and chief marketing officer of Pearl Pay. I'm here asking for $1 million US dollars for 10% equity of our company. PayPay e-wallet is our white label solution for any financial institution. This will help them create their own mobile payment service. We created two more products. One is the PayPay Remit. PayPay Remit is specifically engineered for OFW's needs. And our PayPay Peso, this is the Pera Express strategic outlet. This is the backbone of our ecosystem. So investors, today you have seen an opportunity. You can ride on to the future. Help us with our vision. Thank you. How do you plan to roll this out? Because, you know, this really needs volume. So we're rolling out all our products for free to the rural banks just to accumulate the volume, accumulate the number. What's your target? 600,000 active users. I want to push you further. Okay. Um, because I'm really interested. With AirAsia, we have 10 million passengers a year. On the other hand, I have another company. It's a power distribution in Western Mindanao. Zamboanga. And if I want them to pay using your system, how will you do it for me okay. on both companies? For example, we go first with the Air Asia. You can create your own e-wallet for your users. Say every time they use the e-wallet, they will earn specific amount of points. For the Mindanao, uh, we have our own Pearl Pay Peso. So they can just pay in our Pair Express strategic outlets, just like uh, buy and centers, etc. If we have e-wallet already of another company, why should we use his AirAsia e-wallet? What's the advantage? Most of the Filipinos want to have rebates, discounts, promos, 
That's why they use, let's say, credit card just to uh, pay I don't points. think only Filipinos would like that. Oh, yeah. Everybody yeah. likes that. Yeah. So that's the, one of the use cases of uh, having an AirAsia e-wallet. He's asking about integration into your existing app. Do okay. you have an API that allows you to plug straight in? And how does that work? We have not yet uh, tried a use case with a, with a non-financial -finan institution company. So but, you don't uh, have that yet? Not, 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 not yet. For you to have value in my business, I have to know how you will do it. And I think it's not yet that clear at this point. I'll get back to you, sir, if how will I do it, how we will do it. But for sure, it's, it's capable. If we wait for a few more days, this might be your final pitch. Now, going back to you, Jervin, can, can you give him an answer? Give me a day or two, I can give you the whole proposal. It cannot be a day or two because this Actually, just give me a few hours, hour. I can do it. Well, a few hours would be yeah. fine because this afternoon is the final yeah. decision <laughs> that we have to pick for. Yeah. Okay? Yes. Thank you, Jervin. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very wonderful. Actually, I felt nervous because this is the first time I saw them. All of them are very parang naka starstruck. Hopefully, I convince all the investors to invest in my company. That's the problem between people that pitch and us. If you put them on the spot and tell them, what can you do for me? If this is, I give you the volume, no problem. But what? He need to have that any answer for you. Yeah. 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 yeah but Give I... me your proposal now. Yeah. And <laughs> if you cannot really find uh -huh. what to do, then you have a problem with your own model. Next time on the final pitch, we're down to the last four entrepreneurs. Is this your first time in the jeepney, sir? The first time in the modern jeepney. Uh, yeah. I've been in the old jeepney a while back. Before the investor judges decide who will make it to the next round. Welcome to the eliminations. Each investor can only pick four for the rest of you. Unfortunately, that was your final pitch.